Patty, welcome to Nawara. Nawara is an A to Z based belly dance style which I've created with a lot of influences from around Egypt, Libya, Algeria, various desert dancers that come together in a spirit of group connectivity and live percussion. Nawara is based on A to Z original where there are five sets of different energetic values or movements. The first set are the seeds, and that's where we look at the energy of the elements, earth, fire, water, and air. After that, each set goes into a deep exploration of the rhythms, movements, and different styles of percussion we can play together with that element. I've based Nawara on luminaries. One is the moon. So we're going to be looking at elements of crescent moon in terms of shape with our formations and our choreographies, whether it's the full moon or the semicircular crescent moon shape. The duff also represents the moon. So we're going to be placing the duff in various aspects as we dance, either on our shoulder, down at the hip, above the head, which is very much like the crown of Hathor. And we're also going to be looking at how we can create shapes within the body that reflect that lovely crescent aspect of this beautiful luminary, the moon. The moon is also known as El Omar and light is Nur. So we're going to be looking at how this beautiful energy of the lunar luminary comes into play with our dancing. We also look at the connectivity of the circle and of the crescent circle and how we can have several different crescents folding within each other when we dance in formation. Then we look at the luminary of the sun, El Shams, very fiery and dynamic. And with the sun, we're going to explore ways of connecting with each other, of being brilliant, dazzling, shining. And we're also going to use things like metals. So we use the sagat, we use a lot of metal in our costuming. And we also look at a lot of traditional styles of jewellery that have come from the deserts of the Middle East. A lot of my movements have been inspired by how Mahmoud Reda and Farida Fahmi have explored the various dances of Egypt and extracted the essence through rhythmic analysis, through movement and energetic analysis as well, and created a theatrical style from them. For example, they were looking at the dances of the Siwa Oasis, the Bedouin dances, and various styles from Dakhla Oasis, and many other provincial styles from around Egypt, including the Saidi and other forms of movement, for example, from the Libyan border with the Hagala, and from the farmers' dances in the Fayoum area, the Fellahin, and also in the Saidi areas, we've got the Fellahin. So we also explore various uh, dance steps that come from Nubian dances, the Fellahin dances, the Hagala, the Dakhla Oasis, a lot of the feminine styles like the pigeon dance from Egypt. There are many different styles that have been theatricized. And what we do is aim to retain the essential energy of the movement whilst dancing within the A to Z framework through the lens of the elements, earth, air, fire and water. And also we draw inspiration from the luminaries, the moon, which is reflected in the duff and even the little shells, which come from the sea, which is also ruled by the moon, the waters, the watery energy. And then of course, we also look at the sun. And with that, we look at the metals and the sagat, which we play as well as a lot of dynamic percussion. Now with Nawara, what we're going to be doing is looking at how A to Z belly dance has inbuilt cues with every single one of the 26 routines in the original. So we learn 26 original cues, which all begin with a hand position, whether it's routine A, starting like that, routine B, with the arm out and to the side. So we always have a cue that is naturally there in the A to Z belly dance. 
And then we work this into formations, whether the formations are linear or circular. Usually they're circular, but sometimes we do go into lines as well to make our transitions. Now, what is the music of Nawada? Once you learn the movements, you can dance this to many styles of music, but we're going to focus on pure percussion. So not only do we learn five different types of rhythmic families as we're exploring the five sets, but we also learn, as well as stepping to the rhythms, how to play the duff while we're stepping and how to play the sagat as we're stepping. So there are two types of percussions that we can play, duff, frame drum, or sagat, finger cymbals, and for some people they can also do dambuka. Samna Cemento will be coming in to teach us how to play the duff and also some darbuka lessons as part of Nawara. And I'll be showing you how to do the zills. And I also have Gillian Anderson who's helped me with some of the aspects of group formation and cueing because she's a very skilled tribal dancer and fusion artist as well as a wonderful A to Z teacher and one of the original course writers. So we have a really super team. We also have Sandra Hansen who is going to be helping with the costuming. As you can see, we have this beautiful Libyan rug behind us. So we have a lot of uh, inspirations from various tribal style designs from Egypt and beyond into the Algerian and Libyan borders. Aspects of the uh, design, which are a lot of stripes, earthy colors and metal adornment in our costuming and of course tassels. So I really look forward to sharing this with you. I'm going to be teaching you this in three lessons. The first lesson will be the basics and the core rhythms plus the seeds and the first element earth which is very befitting for this style of dance because it's very earthy and grounded, which is also great for seniors or anyone who may have issues in the feet or even pregnant women because sometimes turning and really sprightly moves can really put you off balance or um, you know anyone who's experiencing problems in the joints can find this very stabilizing. The next lesson looks at the element of water and uh, we're looking at how we play the doof and how we bring the shells into our sewing and also how we experience the moon or the lunar shape. Then after that, we go into the fiery routines as well. And in the last lesson, we look at uh, the element of air and dynamic contrast in the Nawara program and also various formations and how we can play those rhythms. Each lesson comes with of course, a costuming section, a dance section, a troop improv section, and a rhythmic section. So I really look forward to sharing this with you. The way you can begin to get into Nawara and some of its earthy elements is by looking at your 40 Rhythms CD, because we are extrapolating rhythmic families from that particular CD and also looking at the A to Z original routines, making sure that you're up to date with those and that you're understanding the footwork. Of course, I will be teaching those again and going into each routine with its specific styling. Each routine will be earthier, simpler, more grounded, more fluid, and deeply somatic and felt. There will be a narrowing of the field where the movement comes more into the body, into gravity and a really graceful sense of levity, as well as with the group dynamic of how we connect as individuals and then as part of the wider circle. So I really look forward to sharing this with you. We're going to be starting it next week. Again, we have three lessons which I will deliver. Each lesson is about one and a half hours long and of course, Part of this is about creating a live experience. So if you are doing a festival with your troupe and there is no CD player, no music, or you're doing it in a park or on the beach, you can create your own percussion. You can have several percussionists around the side and then also some of the dancers 
can be playing percussion as well. So you create a live, dynamic, real time and connecting experience. Thanks again. I look forward to joining you soon.